What up guys, Nasty Smurf back with another tutorial on the P90. So, the P90, the RPM, pretty good. Accuracy, pretty good. But the power is just terrible. When you measure the power, when you compare the power of the AK-47, M4, those types of guns, the P90, P90 has one-fourth of the same damage, which is very terrible. But the accuracy is pretty good on this gun. I think it has one of the better accuracies besides for snipers. But when you think about the clip, that makes it even better because the clip is pretty big because it has 50 to 100. So you can't take your time if your opponent has bad accuracy from long, from long range. But the recoil and spray pattern is pretty hard to manage on the P90 from long range. So, I wouldn't consider this gun, but if you like it, you can go for it, try it out, but I wouldn't consider it. Now, the RPM is pretty fast. Something else about it I like is rushing with it, because you can just spray and spray with this gun. And the reload time, it is pretty fast. Not one of the faster reload times, but it is pretty fast. That's something else I like about it. It's fast reload. All that kind of stuff. Something else, the accuracy, back to the accuracy. The accuracy on it, the sp spray pattern is hard to manage from long range, but if you try to tap fire, one to three bullet tap fire will help you. I wouldn't consider spraying from medium range, but I am right now just showing you what the spray, spray patterns are. And you, as you can tell, they're not that good. They're hard to control. Like, look at these spray patterns. That's one, there's two, there's all types of different spray, spray patterns, which is hard to manage on the P90, because there's three to four, I think, or maybe even five spray patterns to control, and it's pretty difficult. Like right there, I barely even touched them, because the spray pattern was too hard to manage from long range. Right here, I can't even hit this guy, because my spray pattern is so bad. So that's one thing about the P90 that I don't like. That the spray pattern gets so wide that you won't even be able to hit your opponent if you spray from medium to long range. So I consider tap firing. The only time you should spray with the P90 is if you're really close to your opponent, like I am right there. Like I'll spray, and then I'll turn around and just keep spraying this guy because I have the ammo. Just had didn't have the aim there. Um, something else about it, I like the ammo because it's 50 to 100, so you can't take your time with it. You can even go long range if you tap fire, you might get lucky. I'm going to try to tap fire right there, didn't get him though. See if I can get this guy. Nope. He's hiding, I won't be able to get him. Spray pattern is too hard right there, close range, easy kill. See what I'm talking about, long range, hard to get kills, medium range. Need to get used to the spray pattern, and long range, and short range, pretty easy to get kills. I wouldn't consider sh um, shooting with this gun unless you have over 15 bullets. Because it will take over 15 bullets because this gun's damage is so low. Something else is do not, do not go long range across the entire map because it is pretty much impossible for you to get a kill. Like right here I have 11 ammo and I'm going to try to rush because I won't be able to kill him from long range. Because I'm pretty sure it's 10 to from 8 to 10 bullets to go from long range, so I'm going to try to get up, like right there, I'm going to have to pick up an enemy gun, ran out of ammo, picking up an M4, M4 might be my next tutorial when I buy it, because I need to buy it, when I level up I'm going to sell my P90, and hopefully get enough for the M4 to make a tutorial for it, it is my favorite gun in the game, but back to the P90. P90 would actually be my least favorite SMG in the game because when you compare it to an Uzi, I even think an, um, the P90 is best compared to an Uzi because the damage, the accuracy, the RPM is all pretty same, pretty much the same on both guns. Also, like if I might do some tutorials on other SMGs, you'll see the spray, the spray patterns are a lot different. And the accuracy and power are a lot different too. But, like right there, I'm trying to get some. I'm going to spray this guy because I just can't get him normal. And this guy's just bad and gone. But, 
what also I kind of like on the P90 is got a fast reload. I think it's about 2.2 seconds, if I remember correctly. And if you share, if you do the reload glitch, which is holding the left mouse button, which shaves off 0.2 seconds, which would drop it to two seconds, which could make a difference in a death or a kill. So keep that in mind if you didn't know about that. Well, that's pretty much all there is to P90. Pretty much, don't ever spray unless you're really close range. Like right there, I can't even hit him because he's going far back and I can't get my accuracy right. Right here, spray and spray and spray. Can't get him because the accuracy is just so bad. So that's all there is to it. Pretty much, don't spray. I can't. I can't say that enough because so many people spray with this gun. I'm just trying to spray right now to show you how bad it is. Like right here, I'll try to spray this guy, but it is a wall bang gun though, so you can shoot through the walls and you will get lots of kills doing that. I I get lots of kills doing it too. Like right here. Actually, my bad. I'm thinking of another SMG. The reload time on the the reload time on the P90 is actually very slow. My bad. I'm sorry about that. It's very slow, so. But maybe the glitch for it might keep you alive, but 